Happ gave up just one run over five innings, but did you feel like he just wasn't as sharp as he normally is today? Yeah, he, he was definitely, and I thought early on he was really sharp, but then just, you know, struggling to put guys away at times. Um, thought they did a good job most of the afternoon of spoiling a lot of pitches with two strikes and kind of driving his pitch count up. But, you know, just just not the pinpoint command we're used to seeing. And, you know, still was able to give us five sharp innings and made big pitches when he had to. But, um, you know, one, one run in five innings, not too bad for, for an outing where he's, he's not quite himself. Were you trying to stay away from guys in the bullpen today because of... The way you used yeah, Dellen was down, Chappie was down, Holger was down. Um, so, and and Robbie and Britton were available, um, but obviously only one. Britton would have been his third day in a row. So we had those two guys at the back end. You know, Greeny we had available uh, short. Uh, so we just had to try and as, as best we could piece through and try and get to that seventh inning, and we just couldn't. Is it difficult for you when you know you don't have those guys available trying to figure out how you're going to go about piecing it together? Yeah, but we have guys that have, have stepped up for us um, a lot this year, and and that's part of it. I mean, that's part of, you know, a team and a 25-man roster. You know, you've got to kind of lean on everyone, especially on certain days when you know it's going to be like that. And, um, you know, on a day like today where we – we get three runs in that first inning. Looks like we're going to be able to continue to add on all day, and it just uh, we just stalled out um, offensively. So, um, you know, frustrating way to end this home stand. Um, but we got to get past it and uh, and and get on. Wally, Aaron, has Sonny Gray fallen so far off your radar that you didn't consider him because he can give you multiple innings? You know, from the sixth inning on. Right. Um, no, no. In fact, there's a chance he'll start one of these games uh, in Tampa's if, if, if we do a bullpen day. So, um, no, he hasn't he hasn't fallen off. But, you know, in that area with Sessa and Loisaga, you know, we feel like Sonny's a guy that can give us quality middle innings if, if there's something we need. Uh, to the right, Brendan. Who's starting tomorrow for you guys? And uh, we're we're going to talk about that, and we'll, we'll let you know. Gotcha. To the left, Brian. And with that being said, what made Cole the guy you went to there? Well, the back end of the lineup of the righty lane. Um, you know, we, we had him for the righties, which is where he's been the most successful all season. Uh, and then Tarpley up with him in case they, they hit a lefty in a spot. And he just, you know, hung his breaking ball today and, uh, and got hurt. Uh, Brendan. You took a little bit longer to get in here than usual. Did you talk to those guys after that? No, no. We we uh, we're meeting on DD. Um, Is he okay? He's he's got um, he tore some cartilage on his wrist on the slide home yesterday. Um, so he 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 had an MRI today and then treated with a cortisone shot uh, today and then he'll be reevaluated in a few days. So how do you? What are your? Op, what's your optimism that you'll have him back? It, unsure. Um, I think there's a real possibility we do. Um, you know, there's also a possibility that we don't. We'll we'll know a lot more in a few days and see how the risk responds to to the cortisone shot. Dan, how big a blow obviously is that to lose him? Uh, well, Didi's. I mean, a great player, and obviously, I mean, I think everyone in this room understands how important he is to our team, kind of a anchor for us defensively in the infield, obviously what he brings from the left side of the plate. So, um, you know, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but um, hopefully we'll get some good news here in a few days that it responds uh, how we hope. And if he is out, will you? Keep Hetcheveria in there. Is that uh, you know on, on a regular basis, or would you go with? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we we can mix and match a little bit and slide Glaber over if we want to play a different matchup or something. But Hetch would certainly uh, factor in big time. Clap. You didn't specify which wrist for Didi. Right wrist. Right wrist. Yeah. So is the doctor said there is a chance that it, he could play with a torn cartilage under the right conditions? Oh yeah, yeah. It, it it's. A, a lot of times it can respond the right way. The cortisone is the treatment, and if, if that goes well, then, then yeah, but, but it's an unknown right now.
Brendan. You mentioned you guys are going to talk tonight more about who's going to start uh, this upcoming series. What are you guys weighing? What's going into that decision? What can you say? Uh, we got to look at see where we are, you know, pen wise, um, you know, who who we'd have available, how we would piece something together. Um, you know, we would like to push all our starters back an extra day. Um, so we'll just we're going to weigh that and talk about it, and 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 then we'll go from there. Anyone else? Okay, thank you.